It's a fact. To travel on land, you need energy. Cars and goods vehicles use fossil fuel combustion to provide this energy, which is not without its disadvantages. Indeed, this combustion emits CO2, which contributes to the greenhouse effect and global warming. It is therefore essential to do everything we can to limit these harmful emissions. Europe is seeking to reduce CO2 emissions by 2012 by reducing fuel consumption. Reducing fuel consumption means lowering the impact of forces opposing the movement of vehicles. So what are these forces? Gravity for a start, linked to the weight of the vehicle. It is impossible to escape this force. Then there is inertia, which acts against changes in velocity. Aerodynamic forces due to air resistance not forgetting the mechanical friction affecting the vehicle. We often underestimate the impact of this fifth force. It is, however, responsible for one-third of fuel consumption due to the rolling resistance of tyres. We will explain how. In fact, a very hard tyre on a very hard surface produces very little rolling resistance. This is the case of railways. But it is a different matter where trucks are concerned. Indeed, under the weight of a load, the tyre is distorted with every turn of the wheel. Flexion, shearing and compression really put it to the test. The tyre's flexibility creates an area of contact with the ground, where less significant distortions take place, where the rubber meets the rough road surface. Small or large, these distortions are essential for comfort and grip, causing rolling resistance in return. The question is, why? Because tyres are made of viscoelastic rubber compounds. This means that once the materials have been distorted, they only regain their original shape after a certain time. All the energy taken to distort them is not fully restored. Some of it is dissipated in the form of heat, thus warming up the tyre. This loss is the rolling resistance. Let us take a closer look. The rubber compounds are composed of long molecular chains or polymers, linked by sulfur bridges for elasticity. This entanglement is scattered with fillers, carbon black and silica, for resistance to wear. Heating occurs due to the friction between the molecular chains. Adjusting the composition of this complicated mixture can reduce rolling resistance. Michelin's introduction of silica in 1992 was a major breakthrough. That is why rolling resistance is now three times lower than in the past. Other factors influence rolling resistance. For example, an underinflated tyre, which is more distortable, offers more resistance than a correctly inflated tyre and therefore consumes more fuel. Michelin tyres significantly reduce rolling resistance, thus cutting your fuel consumption. Imagine. If the six and a half million tractors, semi-trailers and buses in Europe were equipped with such tyres, the annual savings would amount to 420,000 tonne oil tankers of fuel. Tangible proof of Michelin's active role in ensuring better mobility for transport while safeguarding the future. Michelin. A better way forward.